we have the GQ we have the GQ peace plan to sabotage Joe Biden, and the centrist gr- and the and the groups like um, no label no label seek to undermine President Biden's reelection, and do they secretly want Donald Trump to be squatter again? Now here we fucking go again. It seems as if every other election cycle or so for the past few decades has produced dreams of a of a third party unity ticket that would appeal to all the Americans who say they want the partisan bickering and marches on the stop. And the Beltway media gets excited at the idea of the grown-ups being in charge and the big money boys lick their chops at the prospect of a party based entirely on their needs and their needs alone. Now this year it looks like the perennial group that calls itself No Labels has decided to throw a monkey wrench into our closely divided electoral college map, which the electoral college is a fucking joke, and possibly send Donald Trump back to the White House to be squatter again in 2024 in the name of unity, of course, even though there is no unity when it comes to the GQP rednecks. Um... Now, No Labels is already gathering signatures to get on the ballot and is trying to recruit a Democrat and a Republican to run as a bipartisan ticket. Um, the closet, closet Republicans Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema and Susan Collins and former Maryland Governor Larry Hogan are the names mentioned most often. At least they aren't pulling former Democrat, um, former Democrat turned independent pain in the neck Joe Lieberman out of the mothballs for another run. Now, um, the new Republic obtained a video, um, the, uh, obtained a video that the organization is showing Two donors to illustrate why this ticket is needed. With, with the ex- within the extremes on both sides dominating the primaries, the video warns that two parties are on a path to nominating candidates that are most eligible, that, mo- that most eligible voters will find it unacceptable. Now, above these words, the video shows photos of four political figures in order of appearance. The fat fuck Donald Trump, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Bernie Sanders, and Elizabeth Warren. And that's right. Nowhere in the video is that dangerous left-wing firebrand incumbent, incumbent president and, presumpt- and presumptive nominee Joe Biden even mentioned even though he's not dangerous at all. Um, it, does give away, it does give away the game, doesn't it? And the only people who would respond to that message would be the rich Republicans who fund no labels. It's not a fucking mystery why this video has not even, di- has not even been distributed publicly. Now, most normal people know that Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, Bernie Sanders, and Elizabeth Warren are not even running for president and that the mainstream uh, war horse Joe Biden had beat Warren and Sanders in the 2020 primary and he beat Donald Trump in the general election. Now, the ad is fucking bizarre to say the least. Now, no labels may think that Biden is too Democrat, but you simply can't say that he isn't bipartisan. He managed to get through more major bipartisan legislation on infrastructure, climate change, domestic, um, domestic manufacturing, election integrity, and gun safety than any president in recent memory. Is it bipartisan what they really want, or, 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 or are they more interested in preening about unity while lobbying under the table for corporate interest? It's so off the base that even the usually compatible centrist think tank third, third war, on third way has denounced this effort basically altogether. Um, now, there have been the centrist movements for quite a while, and I recall back in 2008 a big gathering at the University of Oklahoma that was led by Michael Bloomberg, who was then considering um, a third-party run, and he shared this stirring message. Um, People have stopped working together. Government is dysfunctional, and there's no collaborating and, con- and congeniality, Bloomberg said to, an apl- said to an applause from the crowd. Now, the same old, same old. Now let's go to 2012. They really rubbed up with um they they really rubbed up with American with the Americans elect yet another dark money big donor group with the same agenda. By its own account, the group is driven by civic minded citizens who feel that moderates and independents have been disenfranchised by the tendency of the two parties on um, play to their bases, especially in primaries when independents ca- cannot vote in many states. Um, now no labels was launched back in 2010. When centrists like Joe Lieberman decided that President Barack Obama was failing to reach out to the Republicans and work toward a common ground solution to Americans' problems. Now, the fact, the fact that this was complete and utter nonsense, and remember the grand bargain, it didn't fucking matter. There was, mo- there was money to be made, and this group was going to get a place at the trough. The group was launched by a former Democratic fundraiser um, named Lan- um, Nancy Jacobson, who was a noted ra- radical centrist who got billionaire, um, who got billionaire funders Michael Bloomberg and Andrew and Andrew Tish to sign big checks right away, and they were the first of many. Although we don't know exactly who they are, who they um all who who they all are, because it's a dark money group that is not obliged to name its donors. But there have been reports of fundraising appeals made to everyone, from David Cook to PayPal founder Peter Thiel to associates of George Soros. Considering the mission, I wouldn't expect many Democratic-minded billionaires to join up, but I suppose you would never fucking know. And this year alone, they, they are reported to have already gathered $70 million for a spoiler third-party presidential campaign. In, the very, in a very closely contested, um, contested and antiquated, and, 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 um, antiquated um, 
an undemocratic electoral college. This is just what the doctor ordered to give the Republicans another go at it. And it's hard to assume, it's hard not to assume that's the plan. Jacobson is married to a shady pollster named Mark Penn, who's a, who was affiliated with the Clintons back in the day, but he has generally become hostile to the Democratic Party over the years. And Penn has been, in, has been, intima, has been intimately involved with um, no labels. And one of his most famous contributions to their attempts at sabotage was back in 2017 during the Obamacare Repeal Act. As the Daily, uh, B- Daily Beast reported at the time, Penn tweeted this inane but um, bit of political advice. Um, the Democrats, mi- he basically said the Democrats missed their chance to, re- to shape health care and let the Freedom Caucus um, be the key swing actor. It's time to get off the sidelines. I don't know what the, I don't we we not we don't even know what the fuck he was smoking or drinking, but the idea that the Freedom Caucus has ever been, uh, will ever be a, a key swing actor is is fucking delusional. They would rather cripple their own agenda rather than comp, than compromise on anything, and they have. The notion that the Democrats should keep um should help them destroy the party signature health care plan has always been ridiculous. Although many centrist types like Penn have argued have argued for it from the beginning. Um. Um. Now, um, there have there there are always third party um, gadflies in presidential races, and they can have an effect. Um, Ross Perot, back in nineteen ninety two, arguably shifted the race to Bill Clinton and Green Party candidate Rob Nader's ninety four thousand plus votes, and Florida certainly cost Al Gore in the White House in two thousand. But there's an argument to be made that Green Party candidate Jill, um, Jill Stein's run in twenty sixteen made the difference in the electoral swing states that Donald Trump won narrowly, and the stakes were high. But then we can attribute that to the fact that it's likely most of us. It was inconceivable to those voters that so many people would vote for the bizarre Donald Trump for for squatter. And I think most Americans have been properly scolded about that by now, and even though some idiots are still willing to vote for him. Um, well, except for those centrists who seem to be living in some kind of ins- insular dream, um, world where the Electoral College isn't closely divided and the stakes aren't monumental. As, but as I've already said, the Electoral College is a fucking joke and it needs to be done away with. Um... To compare Trump and Biden when Trump is currently under indictment and likely to be indicted in several more cases after having incited a Klan insurrection is daft. And what and what and what technically is Biden's crime? Um, passing too much um passing too much bipartisan um bipartisan legislation and not paying porn shares like Trump. And this is nothing more than sabotage, and it couldn't come at a worse time. But let's hope it fizzles like these centrist third party bids have done in the past, and let them meddle something somewhere else. And we don't have the luxury of indulging another high dollar dark money vanity project right now. So if you like the video, you can get the video and like and subscribe to my channel, RBW King. Um, you can also hit the notification bell so that you know the private new video comes out. Um, if you want, um, you can also leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And if you want to support my work even further, you can donate to my Patreon link, which you can find in the belt section of YouTube. And for just a little as a few bucks a video or a month, your donation can help go a long way. And thanks for listening.